this is Fiona, the young adult librarian. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this cute little wood slice owl. It's really easy to make and it's a cute fall decoration. You can even use it as a winter decoration as well. So let's get started. So for today's craft, you're going to need your wood slice, your two brown buttons, your two black buttons, your piece of yellow felt, your glue, your brown Sharpie, two brown pipe cleaners, piece of string, and you'll also need a scissors. Okay, so first we're going to attach our eyes. And if you do wanna hang this up, you wanna make sure that the hole is at the top and you're lining things up with that because otherwise it'll hang a little crooked. So you're gonna take your brown buttons first. And again, keeping in mind where the hole is, we're just gonna put them towards the top. And you wanna make sure they're close together. So. And then we're just gonna put the black buttons right in the center. And then we just want to let that dry. So next you want to take your piece of yellow felt and all you're going to do is cut a narrow triangle out of it. So then you want to take a little beak you cut out. I'm just going to put a little glue on it. And then you want to stick it directly under the eyes. So. And then just let that dry. So now we want to take our Sharpie. And what we're going to be doing is drawing on the wings. So you want to go up by the eyes and make a curved line next to each. Like so. And then what we're gonna do is underneath the eyes a little bit, we're gonna extend that curve down all the way to the bottom. And you can definitely make them wider, thinner, however you wanna do it. And then all we wanna do is make just little U's in here for the feathers. And again, you can do as many or as few as you like. And the same thing on the other side. Now we want to make the feet. So what you want to do, you want to take your pipe cleaner and make a little hook like that. And then bring it down. And then up. And then down and just make sure they're all relatively the same size your bends and then up down and then up one last time and then what you're gonna do where you left this little tab you're just gonna wrap that around your first little bend like so and pinch it together take the middle one pinch it together take the last one pinch it together and then with this extra piece you're just going to take it wrap it around the center just a little bit not too much and bring it up behind so you have a little little nub there 
then you just want to sort of bend it so it looks more triangular. We're going to do that with both of them so we can glue them on at the feet. So now I have my little legs made. I'm going to take my glue, flip it over, and then I'm going to, you can show a little bit of the legs, a lot of the legs, however you want to do it. So you want it like that, if you want less. So you just want to figure out how you want to position it. And then you're just going to take some glue, put it on the back. And then you're going to stick it on there. Double check to see if it's where you want it to be. So like so. You do the same thing with the other leg. And as you can even see now, you really want to make sure you let these dry. Because hot cleaners and glue do not always like to work together. You want to make sure that you give it more than enough time to dry. Make sure that it really stays on there. So you can see these little feet are stuck on. And this last step, again, is optional if you want. You would just, if you wanted to hang it up, you would just take the string, put it through the hole. knot it at the top and hang it up wherever you want. So here you can see my finished album. It's really easy to make. It doesn't take much. Um, it's just some glue and it's a really cute little guy to have for the fall. For the winter you can even have it up year round. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more crafts.